you know, so many things are happening. Now we've been writing and complaining, Nigerians, I mean, you know, so now some expatriate has posted video and, you know, which is getting a lot of, um, you know, views. And so fan comes out, you know, we're not a serious country. Now I keep telling you, a serious country. You know, fan comes out to come and do my hair. So they don't know about this is <laughs> happening at the airport. Is it because of this video? Everybody knows what's happening at our airport. Everybody knows that, you know, Nigerians suffer through hair. But we've gotten used to it, and we just say it's a part of our lifestyle. You know, smelly toilets, ACs don't work. Conveyor beds, you know, everything is just like, you know, just go to Ghana or Cote d'Ivoire and go and see the, the, the airports there. And you see the shame that this Nigerian airport, Nigerian airport in Lagos, especially. Hi, guys. Before I dive into today's video, I just want to say, wow. The comments many of you left on my last video, where you shared your horrible experiences traveling to Lagos International Airport or traveling through Lagos International Airport was insane. Many of you have gone what I would consider quite traumatic experiences. And I'll probably film a video sharing sort of like the ones that really stood out to me and the ones that I felt like, you know what, deserve air time because we can't just let this whole thing just die off like that, you know? Honestly, I'm going to film a video on it because I believe they deserve more air time. And because I also think the government needs a reminder of what people have gone through. But in today's video, I will be sharing what has been going on in the past few days with regard to eradicating corruption and bribery at the Lagos airport by FAN. That's our government agency for aviation and that manages the airport, the international airport in Lagos. I'm sure many of you have seen the articles flowing around that FAN has actually taken some action since I last posted my last video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing specifically what those actions were and also how the Nigerian public and media reacted to those actions. I will try and create sort of like chapters for this video so that you can easily sort of na navigate between sections if you want to sort of like skip over. So I'm gonna do that in the description box below. Look out for that. I would love to hear from you guys what your honest thoughts were with regard to the actions that have been taken by FAN after you've watched this video. Are you optimistic that this is the beginning of lasting change? Or you think this is just audio, audio, audio news? If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. So first things first, the first thing I realized after I posted my video on sabbatical, what he experienced through the airport, I noticed this about two days ago, maybe three days, depending when you see this video, or even longer, <laughs> Fan actually shared um, a particular banner on their Instagram page, I'll put it up on screen, and they put a banner there where they said, we do not condone extortion. They also said that if you, you can, uh, passengers advice escalate any forms of extortion at the airport, um, they basically give you a service line and ask that you insist on speaking to an airport manager or a duty supervisor if anybody tries to delay or threaten you or your flight, basically. So essentially, the says passengers are advised to escalate any form of extortion to the airports, and in, and in the event of threats or delays to your flight, kindly insist on seeing the airport manager or duty supervisor. They then give also a customer service line on there. That's the first thing they did. I'll just share a few quick response when they shared this on their Instagram page, what people said. Someone said, Olu underscore Dimas, campaigns are not enough to end these sharp practices, but some officers should be made as examples because it is bringing the nation into a global shame. Perfectly. They said, you know, I agree with this, that you know, just putting up campaigns to stop people to stop is not enough. We actually have to take action, right, and make people examples. So uh, I'm not going to talk much about other parts of sort of comments that people shared here, but I'm going to share the next action that Fan actually did, which is one that, yeah, it was interesting. I'll share exactly what happened. On November 9th, the 9th of November, Fan released a press release, which they actually also shared on their Instagram page. I am going to read exactly what that press release is now to you. So November 9, 2021, i also link it below if you want to read it again yourself. It says, press release, passenger extortion, FAN apprehends hairline staff. 
Following an emergency fan management meeting on the incessant extortion of passengers by airport officials at the nation's airports and steps being taken to address the situation, which had an attendant, the MD, the da da da, da okay, I'm going to ignore that part. It then says that um, a staff of a Rick airline had been apprehended while soliciting bribe from a traveling passenger at the General Aviation Terminal, Lagos. Right, I don't know if that was at the International Terminal, but I don't know what the General Aviation Terminal, it doesn't sound like it was at the International Terminal. The on-duty card of the airing staff has been withdrawn immediately, and she has been handed over to relevant security agency for appropriate action in order to serve as deterrent to other bad eggs in the airport. Recent embarrassing online videos where passengers complained of acts of extortion at the nation's airport um, had necessitated the need to devise multiple level strategies to curb the menace. Uh, menace. The meeting also resolved, okay, so basically the core thing here, the action they did was that they apprehended an airline staff, a female, and she's been going to be somewhat dealt with. How? We don't know, but she's not on duty, like she's not working at the moment. We don't know if it's a permanent, you know, but it just says withdrawn, the on duty card has been withdrawn immediately. Not sure what that means in terms of longer term. Um, so I'm not going to share with you guys, first of all, before even sharing, um, actually, let me share with you the comments that this sort of press release had. Um, first comment, Fiddle Trip said, focus not on airline. They use more sense in asking. Focus more on those officials in uniform working with the government, police, NDLA, immigrations and customs. They do theirs without remorse and threaten our passengers while at it, right? So it's clear here that they're saying, you know what, the real culprits, there are many culprits so, but even through the messages I'm reading, the stories that people are sharing with me, it's not really airline staff that is, they are the, you know, the chief, the chief, what do you call it, criminals here when it comes to this bribery and extortion. It's actually like immigrations, customs, NDLA police, they're the ones. And it seems like they're not being, I don't know, yeah. Someone else said, story, story. So nobody believes nothing's going to happen. Someone else said, they will never curb bribery in Niger for Nigerian airports. Um, another person said, we're getting there. Please focus on the immigration and customs officers, international wing of MMA, departure and arrival wing. I love this, very, very specific. Like, at least she knows where exactly those people are. Um, all the comments under this, the major um, 600 Orthodox said, the major extortion aren't from the airline staff, but from immigration officers. They're the real masters, mastermind folks doing the dirty jobs in the airport, manipulating passengers, not the airline staff, right? So there's a consistent theme in terms of people's response here, right? Um, someone else said, this is a kind, this is kind of action we need. Our airport continues to be an embarrassment to Nigeria and Africa. It is so bad that it is heart-wrenching to pass through our airports. We need to understand the important role of Lagos to all West, all of Africa. If Lagos, Nigeria fails, Africa, especially West Africa, has also failed. This should be a continuous learning to bad eggs in the society. I'm actually going to plug in something here, guys. I'm working on, I have been working for the past like month or so, on a handbook guide for navigating Lagos Airport to give you guys tips and tricks. It should be out soon. Once it's out, I'll let you guys know how you can get it. So, but stay tuned for that. Um, so I'm actually now going to actually go to the Travel to Niger Instagram page um, and share some of the sentiments people have here, right? Similar to those, but some people's comments stood out to me. I wanted to share with you guys. Modele Odibiyi said, with regard to the press release, a red herring. The whole lot of them at the international airport should be sacked. From the Oga Patakwata, who sets the daily quotes on the extortion fees each department must deliver. Fan thinks they are dealing with fools, Abi. Anyone on genuine duty at an airport must wear the appropriate uniform at all times with a visible name badge showing their full name and department. The Mufti Casual Friday law does not and should not apply to an international airport. I fully agree with this comment, right? I think it's really important that even though Fan has sort of like made a scapegoat out of an airline staff, right? Uh, I feel like it's not, we should not like rest on our oars to say, okay, they're doing something. No, they're not doing anything. 
you know, we don't even know the name of this person. We don't, you know, there's, there's no accountability for us to actually know that something is really, really happening. Like, what is the action? So far, it's just talk until we see physically and we see, like, backed up action. And her point is right. Why don't they dress in proper uniform? Like, I don't get it. So that needs to change, certainly, right? Um, someone said, it seems like the video the guy posted has spoken louder than the words of their own people who have been complaining for years. We hope they mean it, right? So um, someone else said, these guys are not serious people. The crime act is being perpetrated at the international airport. Reason why he brings this up, as I said before, it doesn't seem like that person was actually at the airport, the person they reprehend rep reprimanded was at the as a general terminal, not at the airport, right? Similar sentiments here on the Travel to Nigeria Instagram. Olu.femi.a said, airline staff are not the problem. It's the customs, immigration, and fan airport staff. Someone said, I hope it isn't, it's not an innocent person they arrested. Stephen A6609 said, this is a case of majoring in minor things. Grand extortion goes on at MMIA every second. Someone else said, okay, let's wait, people, because I do not believe these people. So there's a sentiment around no one actually trusting this press release. A lot of people just think it's for show, right? Now I'm going to share with you a very, very important video that I think you guys need to watch. And I'm going to be talking through it as um, I'm playing it. It was an interview um, with one of the correspondents at Arise, Arise TV with someone else. And I think this video is so powerful in terms of, it, you know, it makes you question and think about some things differently. Anyways, let's play it. Sean, you're in Abuja, so you just traveled recently. You traveled all the time. What do you make of that video and the, <laughs> <laughs> the reaction from oh God. the Federal Airport the, Authority? Oh, come on. Well, why do, you, why do you want to put me in trouble? Why do you want to look for my trouble? Because now? we give you, you know, all the controversial stuff. Comment on, comment on that. <laughs> you know, because, you know, we have been posting, Nigerians have been posting videos. We have been commenting at the state of affairs at our airport. It's starting from the toilet facilities that are run down, the smelly toilets, you know, the air conditioners that don't work. Uh, they, they, as you arrive at the airport, even at the entrance before you enter there, there's a, a, a check, a, a toll gate there. I don't want to call it a, you know, a security point. The toll gate there as you enter. You know, so many things are happening, and we've been writing and complaining. Nigeria. He actually called one of the security points a toll gate, <laughs> meaning <laughs> oh, a place where you actually have to pay money before you can actually cut across. Let's keep going. The toll gate there as you enter. You know, so many things are happening, and we've been writing and complaining. Nigerians, I mean, you know, so now some expatriate has posted video and you know, which is getting a lot of, uh, you know, views. And so fan comes out, you know, we're not a serious country, and I keep telling you. You know, I'm going to actually, um, as in there's a lot of merit to this point, because I actually remember years ago, you, you guys don't know Obodo Nyibo, like I love her channel, and she actually shared a video, I can't remember back then, maybe like two years ago, or a year ago or so, and it got quite a bit of views actually, I think, couple of tens of thousands, um, and she was like, literally help me, they've stolen my stuff at the airport, you know, they tried to extort money from me or stuff, they actually extorted money from me, and I actually remember that nothing happened, like, I was shocked that a video with that many views got no action, and it could also be because I know, like, this video of the expatriates got so many retweets, got so many, it was out there, um, but I don't, I, you know, I don't, anyway, yeah. It's less country. You know, fan comes out to come and do my So they don't know about this is <laughs> happening at the airport. Is it because of this video? Everybody knows what's happening at our airport. Everybody knows that, you know, Nigerians suffer through here. But we're getting used to it, and we just say it's a part of our lifestyle. You know, I'm going to actually talk on that point. He just said, you know, Nigerians have gotten used to it. And I think that's obviously the issue. We've gotten so used to it. It's like, it's, this is now part of our life. You know what I mean? Um, nevertheless, does it mean like fans should have done something about this years ago, like years ago? You know, smelly toilets, ACs don't work, conveyor belts, you know, everything is just like, 
you know, just go to Ghana or Cote d'Ivoire and go and see the, the, the airports there. And you see the shame that this Nigerian airport, Nigerian airport in Lagos, especially. And so, because the expatriate has posted a video now, you know, a fan is running from pillar to post, you know, make, push, pushing out press, you know, press notices, anybody they catch. Is it, is it, did it start today? I beg as Nigerians, Nigerians will say, no be today, not today, no be today. Oh my gosh, you know what? I actually think that the sentiment that he has, that gentleman in that video, in their Rice interview, is the same sentiment that 99.9999999% of Nigerians have. Like, it's such a shame that it took this. Like, I am happy that at least there is some publicity, you know, being shown on this right now, and I am hopeful that something gets done. But I, exactly, like, why is, it, why is it now? Like, why is it now that they're, you know, running around doing press releases, you know, before they didn't do any... Uh, we need to do better. Like, do I have faith that that is going to make lasting change? Um, I have faith that they will make lasting change for as long as they have pressure being put on them. Someone actually shared a comment on Travel to Niger that we posted on our page. Someone said, Ayobami99 said, please, please keep recording and post it online. If you report to the authority, meaning if you report any case of bribery to the airport um, authority, they are not going to do jack about it. I love Fan. They act as if they didn't know about this evil before. Right? So, yes, I think for me, my advice for people is all this press release, all this noise that's being made by the government agency, like, yes, we like that, you know, but let's not say because we're seeing all these things, we're going to be blinded to not do anything. If you see someone, you know, trying to extort you, you guys DM Travel to Niger, share it with us. We're going to post it on our page. We'll tag fan. Like, any issues, basically, like, raise it. Like, raise it, find out the person's name, and we're literally going to, like, put it up and put it at the forefront and make sure ta um, fan is aware of this and they're doing something about this. You know, let's not rest on our oars because we think there's movement. There is no movement until we see results, right? Actual results. Ah, yes, guys, you know, I would love to hear what your thoughts are with regard to fans' actions and movements, um, with regard to sort of like, you know, sacking that, maybe, is this sacking that employee? We don't know if they sacked the person. They just know that the person was maybe apprehended or whatever. Um, yes, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I... Yeah, thank you so much for watching and supporting. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join this incredible family. Thank you again once again for your love and support, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Bye.